Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my indie game vlog series. This is episode 1 of season 2. So in my last season I made a game, uh, well I didn't make it in the season, I made a game and I showcased it. However this season I'm going to do it uh, kind of different. So I will still show you what I'm doing with my game, however I'm going to ask you at the end of every episode a question which will affect how I will develop the game. So you end up deciding how the game will end up and yeah. By the way I made all the graphics myself so they're really horrible. If you're a good artist I would highly highly appreciate it if you could help me with that. But yeah. To get started, uh, that's how the game looks at the moment. We can drag. Oh, well, that's a little bit fast. I should maybe let, set a speed limit on that. And yeah, I'm currently on Windows, so I'm doing this with my mouse, with my cursor. Uh, on Android, you will obviously uh, be swiping your screen. And yeah, it's about a city. So, you're the mayor of a city and you have to expand it and you have to collect uh, money from every building which makes money, for example a hotel or a shop, a mall, everything which makes money. So yeah, it's kind of a combination of uh, a popular game where you click uh, a cookie and you get cookies and a city game, which I'm not going to name either. Uh, you can think of some ga a game which is about a city. But anyway, you have to expand your city and you have to collect the money of it. Why I said it's like Cookie Clicker is because I'm... Uh, well, I'm doing this right now that you have to click on the building to get the money. So it involves a lot of clicking, which uh, basically drives the game forward. It's a really simple action. You just have to click a building which makes the game so uh, playable when you're doing uh, simple things like walking along the street. You shouldn't obviously be looking at the phone when walking across the street. That's not a good thing to do, be warned. Um, but yeah, it's a really simple thing. So um, yeah, what what, wanted I, uh, what did I want to say again? Oh yeah! Um, in my last season it was just me messing around trying to make a game. It was basically just I'm bored, I make a game and I didn't have a concept. For this game I ha had a really good concept and yeah I was doing this sim simultaneously to Slam from 4 so that's not really the reason but it's partially why Slam from 4 took me so long. But yeah I'm, as you know I'm a game developer so I would rather focus on making games, however the plugins are still part of my uh, coding. So I'm still doing the plugins, but I would rather do games more often than plugins. So yeah, um, I guess I will just show you the games so you can have a look yourself. If I click on not the fountain, this is your spawn tile, but on a plus block right here, uh, we can see that it has no, no profession, no balance, but we can purchase it for a thousand C coins. Now think about something which C coins could stand for. I'm thinking about city coins or citizen coins, but I'll leave it up for interpretation. So yeah, we can purchase it and now we have a forest tile over here. And the plus blocks were added automatically and they connected automatically as well. And by the way, did you notice the star field is moving? I like it. But yeah, we can uh, bulldoze the terrain by clicking on the tile again, which cost a th uh, 100 C coins. And now we have a blank tile of land. We can now start populating it with a man or woman. Not gonna be specific about that. A citizen is what I would call it. So we have a citizen living right here with, in a little shelter with a stone path and a tree. And for 500 coins we can subsidize it. If you don't know what subsidizing means, it's when the government pays a person to uh, make their own business. So 
kind of like the government supports you uh, monetarily and you can build up your own business and we can select a profession. Um, currently there's only the farmer profession but there's going to be a lot more professions and this, we can, you can select those via the slider. But anyway, we're going to subsidize it for 500 coins and it will now start to make money. 70 C coins every two seconds. So uh, if you now collect, you can collect the coin by clicking it. This is why I said it's like cookie clicker. And we can upgrade it for 120 C coins. And as you can see, there's a balance. It profession is now farmer. We have a balance, it's level one, and it makes eight C coins per second. This is a rounded value. You can uh, see a detailed, detailed value over here in the income field. By the way, this is your balance, this is the income, and that's your population. The fountain in the middle uh, already counts as one citizen because that's where you're living. This is kind of strange. Why did I came uh, up with something like that? Is Are you like Aquaman or so? Yeah, that's gonna be the backstory of it. So you're Aquaman and you left Atlantis and now you're going to make a city up in the sky. Yeah, a backstory, good. Anyway. We're going to upgrade this tile. Oh man, we already collected a lot of money over here. So uh, this is going to be collected automatically if you upgrade it. So your balance won't get lost. And uh, we can collect it again by clicking on it. And we're already making 20 C coins every two seconds. So yeah, we could collect it and we can upgrade it again. And again. And again. Almost. <laughs> that was kind of a fail. Anyway, this is making money and we can collect it. This is pretty boring in the beginning. Not really. I kind of like it. It's not uh, nothing you have to think about really. It only gets strategic... Strat strategic? It only gets really... Uh, con... Uh, words... Complicated. So It gets complicated when you have a lot of buildings and you need to think about where you place it because in the future when there's more professions, the professions will affect each other's uh, efficiency. So if you place a baker next to the farmer, the baker will make more money because it has, a, and it has easier access to the wheat and the farmer will make more money because it can uh, because the farmer can sell their wheat to the baker much more uh, fast, much faster. And uh, oh man, we just hit a uh, thousand and twenty, uh, two hundred uh, coins. So yeah, we can upgrade it to the max level, which is five. There's going to be a lot more levels, maybe fifty or so. But for testing purposes, there are only five levels right now, and there's only the profession farmer as well. But yeah, it will be expanded a lot, and now we hit uh, 1.2k coins again, so we can expand our land by purchasing new land for a thousand C coins. So we can upgrade that as well. We can populate it. We, we just need we just need a little bit. bit bleh little bit more money to subsidize it and yeah almost there there we go so we now can subsidize it and we have two money sources now which are both farmer because there's no other profession at the moment upgrading this again and this as well so yeah uh, we are just upgrading this to the max and then it's getting really easy so, whoops, one more. And uh, yeah, if you have multiple level 5 farmers, you're already making money really quickly. So you can almost click <laughs> the new blocks at any time. I'm probably going to make the price for new land uh, be relevant to, be uh, not relevant, relative to the population so it will cost more when you got more tiles because you're obviously making more money as well so yeah we can almost buy new land here uh, almost there just one more or maybe two more one more okay so we can uh, create new land let's say here and where we go we can expand our city uh, to infinity and yeah 
as I said, uh, put wherever you want the Windows port of this uh, in the comments down below. And my question for today is how money collecting should work in the late game. Currently it's very uh, tedious, well not tedious at the moment because we only have two money sources, but let's say you have 20 or so. Uh, then it's going to get really tedious clicking on every tile every two seconds. So uh, I'm thinking about something to collect the money automatically when you're in the late game stage. And oh, it's already level 5 now. That was really quickly, so this game gets sped up uh, really fast here. And yeah, what did I want to say again? Oh right, uh, how money collecting should work in the late game. I have two possible uh, ways of collecting money automatically. One would be to maybe uh, buy a building which automatically collects all money for you. Another idea I had was the um, implementation of some kind of bank which collects nearby uh, money from the buildings in a I don't know X radius. And yeah, let let me uh, know let me know what you think about those ideas. Maybe you can come up with your own idea. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I have to show you right now. The game is really in a very early stage, but I'm thinking uh, about it. I'm currently talking, and I can focus on talking so much because this game is really easy to play. It's something you can do while talking. So yeah, I'm uh, really satisfied with it so far. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye!